A grainy witch is a relatively new term for a long-time phenomenon in the Appalachian Mountains. Women in these hills have had the power to heal for generations. In the olden days, information and history was primarily a matriarchal role in Appalachia, meaning the woman played an important part in maintaining families. Techniques gathered from native practices, from superstitions remaining from their ancestral homes, and allegedly from divine help were passed from mothers and grandmothers to their daughters. These women could heal a cut, remove a wart, take the sting from a burn, all with plants native to their area. These remedies often included rituals and required activities to make them work. These women were master foragers and could find medicine in everything around them. Unfortunately, the misunderstanding of these practices led many women in Europe and the Americas to be accused of witchcraft. This meant that many of these women began to mix Christianity into their work to avoid being labeled a witch. They refused to take credit for their remedies and would tell people that the medicines would only work if they truly believed that God was healing them. You were not allowed to thank many of the women because then it would acknowledge that they were the healer rather than God. Most women wouldn't accept payment for their work. Granny witches nearly died out as modern medicine made its way to the mountains. What happened was that many doctors began to look at the chemical compounds of these rudimentary remedies and found they were sophisticated medicines that worked. Over the years, most granny witches stopped passing down the information in favor of pills and medications, but in recent years, the granny witch is making a comeback. Some of the most popular content on social media coming from Appalachia is around foraging. Apothecaries and homemade salves and teas are being sold using Granny's old recipes. 